3D printing can be expensive. From some of the higher end models, uh, ranging anywhere from $1,500 to $5,000, um, to the more affordable models like the Bamboo A1, A1 Mini, um, going in the few hundred dollar ranges, 3D printing is booming. But what if you're someone who doesn't have a lot of money to put towards this new hobby that you found? I think you'd be a lot like myself. If I'm someone who's somewhat of a novice to 3D printers, I was interested ever since the MakerBot came out and 3D printing was brand new, but out of my price range. It's a completely different world from what it was years ago, and it's quickly changing now. 3D printers are becoming more than an eccentric hobby or something on the fringe. They're becoming more mature to where it's more like an appliance that you can use for day to day. And from what I've seen on YouTube and other spaces, people are using it to create businesses. So it's becoming an income stream for people who are print farmers, who have multiple printers or mini printers. So I want you to join, join me on my journey as I start to really join in on the new 3D printing innovation. I'm going to show you how I got this BQ Harukan 3D printer for under $100. All right, so one of the main things about 3D printing is usually it's pretty expensive, like I mentioned. You can see prices like this for the BQ Harukan 283. There are many different types of printers as well that are around. Creality is a big one. We have Flash Forge, Anycubic, the Creality Ender series is very popular. Now, what I want to talk about is really, number one, I'll talk about how I was able to get this for under $100, and two, how you can do something similar to that. So on Amazon, you'll see that this is about $283, $49. What I did was I used a site called Timu. And if you're not familiar, Timu is just a website where you can find products from overseas or locally in your area at reduced rates. I tend to go on Timu quite a lot. So what I do is I look for deals and I try to come up with ways to create those deals. So this is one of those. The item total was about $102. And I'll show you how I found a 3D printer just like that on Timu. There was a coupon at the time, so I applied that. Shipping was about $299, sales tax $788. Now, what I had that made the difference here was also a credit. So that brought my total down from $102 down to $39.77. That's right. I was able to pay for a BQ Harukwan for $39.77, and it arrived today. I'll be doing an unboxing video shortly, but I want to show you how it's done. So essentially, you just go to Timo, you type in 3D printer. You're going to see a lot of printers here. If you're a brand new and novice, I recommend you find the ones that you're most familiar with. These printers, the Easy 3 series, this is really for beginners, and I mean like little children, anyone who's very new to 3D printing. But the issue with these a lot of the time is it, it's easy to clog. You'll find issues with the extruder or you'll find issues with the bed itself just being so small and tiny, having that four by four inch space. This was the first one I started getting from, also purchased from Timu as well. Um, it ended up having some faulty issues, so I had to return that one. But what you can see here is Timu has a lot of different 3D printers for sale. For instance, this one is a Honeycubic resin 3D printer, a Photon Mono 2. So if we type that into Amazon,
we can see comparable pricing. So it's about 169 here on Amazon. So if you prefer getting it from Amazon, sometimes the price is about the same as Timu. I recommend getting it from Amazon if you can get the latest version. If you're into resin print, 3D printing, it's a different type. If you're into FDM printers, Timu has those as well. For instance, the Anycubic Cobra 2 series, and you'll see comparable pricing. So I'm not seeing the exact printer, but I believe this one ranges in around the $200 range or so. But what you'll see is Timu has these kind of 3D printers at a discount. Some of them are refurbished sometimes. Some of them are brand new though, if you look. Other sources you can find this from if you are looking for a 3D printer at a lower cost, try Facebook Marketplace. A lot of 3D printer enthusiasts have more than one 3D printer. Usually that's to cut down on time or for repairing parts. There's many reasons. But usually when the newest printer or the biggest, baddest printer comes up, they tend to replace all of their printers with the latest models, which usually have bigger build sizes, build, bigger build plates, and a better technology like AMS or color switching. So generally, you'll see used Creality printers on Facebook Marketplace or Cobra, Anycubic, also Prusa. Prusa, decent brand as well. You'll see this anywhere from $50 to about $150 or less. The main thing is just to do your research when you're searching on these different sites and try to find the best value for you and to know what you want. For me, what I like about this printer is the price, of course. What I also want to do with this printer is this printer has Clipper installed, which is quite interesting to me. It's not something I've used before, but it's something that I've heard improves the print speeds, and it's something that I want to get more familiar with. So I bought this printer as a way to learn and get more advanced in my 3D printing skills. It has a decent sized build plate, a lot of standard parts in here. Um, it says that it supports Wi-Fi, which is really nice to have. Some of the cheaper models have a SD card only, which is nice. It's actually quite useful as a backup. And for some people it's preferred because with a SD card, you can put your build, load your build from, for instance, Orca Slicer or Bamboo, Bamboo Lab, and slice it, send it to the SD card and add it to your printer. The reason why that's important is if there's any issues, any downtime, any interruptions, when you usually you might have a USB cord connected to your printer. If anything goes wrong with your laptop or your device, while it's building, it can continue building because it's working on an SD card and the build and the G code or the or the build is on there. All right, so I talked about how you can get 3D printers from Facebook. You can find them on Craigslist even. Just do your homework on the actual printer. You want to check the reviews. So when I check the reviews, you'll often see certain things that may need to be called attention to. Like you want to check to see if there are any particular issues with your printer model. There may be a reason why it has lower ratings than usual. But like I said, for this particular printer, I am using it mainly for learning and instruction. Now, I do have a Bamboo A1 coming soon, and I hope to test that out on the channel and bring more content.